Welcome back to another episode of Jamarcus Mill Top 10, 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 top 10. Bam, bam, bam. First time I ever had a theme song. <laughs> All right. That was my Eddie Murphy laugh. I was trying not to do it too loud because I think my mother's down still sleeping. And even though it's a laugh, a laugh can be creepy. I did a video about it. Today we're doing top 10 Eddie Murphy movies. Yeah. So let's jump right into it then. Top 10 Eddie Murphy movies. Number 10, Rush Hour, before Rush Hour came out. Beverly Hill Cops. Bam, it was good. I only seen one of them, I think. In fact, I don't even, I don't see half of that one. But I remember, I'm pretty sure it's good because he has three franchises. He got like Barry Hills Cop 1, 2, and 3. But I'm sure when I go back and watch it, I'm going to love it. And, you know, from what I seen about it when I was watching it with my cousin, it was funny. You know, when you put the bananas in the pipe and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure it deserves to be on the list at number 10. Pretty sure. Number nine, Dream Girls. If you didn't know, Alabama State just did a production of Dream Girls. Not as good as the movie. I'm actually they 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 put on a lot of great plays. Everything they do is great. This was good too, but I seen them do some great. I seen them do better. I seen them do some great stuff. The color purple was epic. You know, Dream Girls was a great. I had to write about it, but it was still it was still good. Though I'm, I'm not saying I seen him do better though. The, the character of Beyonce could have been stronger, but in Color Purpose she was epic. They, in fact, that was the whole Color Purpose cast. Uh, so Dream Girls, did you know Eddie Murphy could sing for real? My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Then Kings have to do a remix. Hey, number eight, a thousand words. It's good, man. If you haven't seen it, imagine like it was one of those movies I, I watched for the first time and be like, "Damn, I should have wrote it. Should have thought of that." So that's how I know it's good. Imagine if you only had a thousand words to to live your life. What would you say? What would you talk to? Question of the day, if you only had a thousand words left, who would you talk to? What would you say? Only really one person comes to mind and see this is how I, this this is how I know I need some more excitement in my life because the only people I only person I would talk to would have really nothing else they want to hear, so and nothing else I can say to make it better. So I really need some excitement for my life. The world could end right now. I wouldn't care. Number seven. Eddie Murphy Raw. Let's see. This is stand-up special. It's one of them stand-up specials you watch and make you think you can do stand-up. I mean, it, I mean, that mean I'm saying it was good though. It was good, you know. what I'm saying it was nothing bad about it, but it's certain ones you can watch and make you think, "Hey, I could do that." Certain ones, not all of them. He had on like this, this purple Michael Jackson outfit. I don't know what was going on with that, but it was the '80s. People did a lot of weird things. All right, what number am I on? Number six, life. This ain't my daddy's pocket watch. Oh, uh, life. With Martin Lawrence, Eddie Murphy. You gonna eat your cornbread? Yeah, I'm gonna eat my cornbread. Especially tomorrow, because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Number five, Dr. Doolittle. Now, 
Now, I did a video saying that the white people like animals more than black people. I was joking. Some of it was true, but I was joking. Imagine if you could talk to animals, man. I wouldn't even like that power because I'm not an animal lover. That would freak me the hell out. I prefer to talk to machines. And I'd probably screw that up. But if I could talk to animals, I wonder what I'd do. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be having fun with it for a while, but I wouldn't be talking to no cats, man. Those cats are creepy. All dogs go to heaven, all cats go to hell. And my baby, Kyla Pratt, was in it, too. was, like, super young looking. And Raven Simone, but she, she was, she okay. Kyla Pratt been in the business for a long time. As long as I should have been into the business. Long, she been, I've been in the business in spirit, though. Just ain't making no money. The first Dr. Doolittle was good. The second one was good. The third one was just way too much of a stretch when they let Kyla Pratt start talking to animals down. That was, they just did that. That was direct the video. I actually saw the second one in the theaters with my father. And we don't do too much together, but I can remember it. I don't remember nothing else, though. I don't remember anything else about that day. But I'm sure this year that happened. Number four, Strick. He made more money off strike than he made off anything. Pretty sure. That's what I'm trying to do. Get into cartoon voiceovers next. If you got any pointers, you can help me out. Let me know. Because I need it. Good job. For real. I'm trying to get into cartoon voiceovers. Strick. If I can write something that's good as Strick, man. Alright. Now we get into the costume changes. Number three, coming to America. This is the first movie he did where he realized, yo, I don't need help. I don't like you. You, you are you. I could be everybody myself. Old barber, white man, the old barbershop guy number two. He can do anybody. So that was it from right there. Coming to America. And here in America, the world's greatest country, unless you're an American. But if you're an immigrant, you can make it. That's what my next video was talking about. How it's just too many immigrants in America. Ah, you gotta watch the video, man, because I don't mean that as bad as it sounds. Just stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel. It's popping up. It's coming up sometime. Number two, Norbert. Look, understand, man. There's nothing wrong with big women. Big women need love, too. This could be a true story. Norbert is a true story. Big women, low self-esteem, grow up, become mean as fuck. All big girls, I'm talking about big girls in elementary school, grow up and be grown women in their 40s, big women who are just mean. And it's a stereotype that all big women got an attitude because they've been picked on their whole life now. They just got an attitude. I don't know what to do about it. Let it go. And Norbert, too. Norbert. I can see Norbert being a true story. I wasn't seeing a, a fat chick in a baby suit. And we were dating. And my friends kept joking. But I tried to make it work, but she wasn't attracted to me. I wasn't attracted to her anyway. But notice how because she thought I was in love with her, she was really comfortable with her body. Knowing that it wasn't that great. If she had been single, she never would have did it. I'm just saying. There's some life lessons in there somewhere. Alright. Speaking of fat people. Instead of, this, instead of a woman, it's time a pretty big guy. Number one Eddie Murphy movie, Nutty Professor. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! 
I did it. I ran through the video. Subscribe to my channel. Don't you know I'm scrap cleated? I'm scrapped, you guys. I'm scrapped. If you don't subscribe to my channel, I'm coming out there jumping through this camera to bust everybody because I'm scrapped. I'm stronger than Hercules. Hercules! Hercules! I could sucker punch you kind of like uh, Sheru the chick with the ghetto ass name. Sharika. Y'all know who I'm talking about. There you go, top 10 Eddie Murphy movies of all time. Up, oh, number 11, honorable mention, Mulan. Alright, there you go. Peace and love. God bless, go in peace. Remember, plenty of imagination for life. And as always, believe in what you want to be. Welcome back to another episode of Jim Marcus New Top 10, 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 Top 10. Bam! 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 First time I ever had a theme song.